My name is Joel Bradford. I'm an associate professor in earth science in the environmental uh, science and management program at UVU. Um, I have a master's degree in anthropology and a bachelor's degree in vocational education. A lot of our students go into the private sector. They generally end up working in the environmental or safety departments of medium-sized industries. We have students that set up their own businesses. They're entrepreneurs. I have a, a, a former student that got a, a job with his business cleaning up meth labs for the sheriff department. Well, why should we go to UVU? And I said, well, UVU is better for you than any of the big colleges around. If you want to go on to grad school, you've already got research under your belt because the grad school, that's what they're going to be looking for, is are they going to be capable of doing research? And if they're coming from the bigger universities, it's a guess. They guess by their, their GPA, but they don't look at the fact that they've actually done research, that their name is actually on scientific papers that are actually presented at scientific meetings. And you get that. So those international opportunities, the research opportunities, you get that here. You don't get that in the big places. My name is Victor Sankinas. I'm an environmental science and management major, and I'm currently a senior. So we're currently researching the uh, bioaccumulation of polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, and trace metals in fish from Utah Lake. We're seeing to, uh, we're testing out to see if they are at any uh, at a high elevation level where it could be a health risk for humans who uh, consume them. Um, also, I'm currently working on some projects with the uh, with Professor or Dr. Emmerman and we're doing uh, hydro hydrology projects and and uh, various other ones as well. My favorite part of the research project would be the people. Uh, you get to see them every day and they're just fun to work with. Also the uh, the mentor that you have, he uh, for, for, my, for me it's uh, Dr. Cadet and he pushes you and he makes it seem like this whole thing that we're doing is impactful, which indeed it is. And he uh, he current constantly tells us that this is some type of uh, PhD level work and with the various uh, conferences that I've gone to, um, it, it is, it is top, it's, it is top up there. UVU you students in the environmental science management program should have a willingness to help humanity and also a sense of discovery. So my name is Marissa Keck and I'm an environmental science and management major and I am a junior in my second semester. So the research I'm currently involved with is the Utah Lake Research Project and I just started this semester through recommendation by Eddie today and it does look really good on a resume having all this lab experience. I'm working with all this different equipment, especially the ICP machine. It's a good thing to put on your resume and know how to use this elaborate piece of equipment and also knowing how to process samples and just knowing the goings on in the lab, lab procedures, being comfortable with that kind of stuff. It can be helpful in case health inspection thing doesn't work out, I can go and try it for a lab. and surveying go hand in hand plus you're outdoors. So, so structure for motion it's basically taking photos from an aerial platform like a UAV. Uh, it takes pictures and then um, on the ground we actually go on and put ground control points and then we survey those ground control points and then we bring the pictures in and Agisoft actually uses uh, matches pixels in the photos and creates a 3D model and then that 3D model um, is geo-referenced with the survey, so we can actually create high-resolution DEMs, digital elevation models, so that's what structure for motion is. 
you actually get a lot of opportunities for research. Um, if you just go up to the professors and ask them what they're doing, and you can really get involved. Some of my favorite research projects is I just went to Indonesia last summer, summer and we did uh, terrace elevations using the drone. Um, did some mapping there, and then we did a collaboration with the University of Michigan on the house range, um, actually mapping a fault. So, and then went up to Bora Peak, um, did the Lost River Fault, mapped that with the USGS, and we also did, uh, right now we're doing snow modeling. We're trying to accurately get the snow depth so we can do like snow water equivalent, and they can predict runoff and important stuff like that. So my name is Alessandro Zanazzi, I, am, uh, um, I have a PhD in Geology and uh, my research is mainly focused on paleoclimate, so I study climate change that happened in the past, of the, uh, in the history of the Earth. And the idea is that we, we want to understand global warming, what's happening today, we need to understand what happened in the past. Well, in my opinion, the biggest benefit is that you get to spend some time outside. <laughs> So that's the best uh, part of being a geologist. That's why most people get into geology. They're outdoor people. They like to spend time outside, not always in the office. They like to get uh, hands dirty with dirt and rocks. Uh, in terms of job, uh, um, it's a good major. Um, there are uh, uh, environmental companies that hire geology. So you can uh, do like environmental remediation. Uh, you can go into oil companies. Um, you can uh, work for agency, for the government, for the USGS, um, and then we have a, a, a degree in earth science education, so you can be a teacher in public schools and teach earth science in K-12 schools. I'm Isaac Larson, I'm from Arizona, and I'm an environmental science and management major, and I'm a year away from graduating, so that makes me a junior, I guess. Okay, with environmental science, a lot of people have no idea what it is or what you're going to work in. And so when people ask me, you know, over and over again, oh, environmental science, what do you want to do with that? I often, you know, out of joking and spite, I'll say, oh, well, I'm just going to make a bunch of money, ret retire early, and then have a second home in Mexico and spend all my t time on the beach. But <laughs> in reality, I'm probably going to um, get a master's degree in environmental science or something similar and work for a mining company or an oil company or maybe even be like a safety manager for a factory or some kind of big industry and you know work there get a lot of experience and potentially I don't know maybe move into something like academic and be a teacher later on or something but mainly I want to get into mining and, and oil. Well the reason I chose an earth science um, degree you know specifically environmental management is because you know growing up I always um, enjoyed being outside. I enjoyed, you know, biology, um, botany, water. I loved swimming. Basically, I just loved nature. And that's how it seems, you know, that's what it seems to be um, for a lot of people that choose either, you know, a geology degree or an environmental science and management degree, is that obviously we appreciate nature. We love nature. A lot of people um, that go into this program, of course, love hiking. They love swimming. Um, you don't necessarily have to be a huge outdoor, like outdoorsman or a really outdoorsy person. Um, a lot of people that get into the degree also just enjoy uh, research as well. They love researching plants, soil, water, uh, rocks, obviously. So, of course, it's earth science. And my hobby of aquascaping actually got me into the program. So I fell in love with aquatics and all that kind of stuff because I've always enjoyed swimming. And then that's what actually got me into the program. So you don't necessarily have to think... You know, what is my passion? What do I love to do? You know, when you're young, it can be hard to know exactly what you want to do. So look at what your hobbies are. You know, if you find yourself being outside a lot, appreciating nature, wanting to, you know, 
sustain nature, reduce pollution, whatever it may be, that might, that might come later. But if you just find yourself appreciating nature or you find that your hobbies are evolving around some kind of earth science or physical science, it may be a good idea to look into either geology or environmental science. So that's basically, you know, how I got into the program and uh, why I'm sticking with the program basically and why I love it. So my name is Hillary Hungerford. I have a PhD in geography. I'm in the earth science department, but I'm a human geographer, a social scientist. So there are a lot of reasons a student should choose an earth science degree. So we have a number of programs within the department. There's geology, environmental science and management, and geography. And the three disciplines really work well together. And we work together in answering some of the biggest questions facing the future of our planet. So there's continued need for people skilled in these areas, especially GIS. That's where geography really comes in handy. Learning techniques of mapping and analysis that can really lead to a job in a number of fields. Um, and a real strength of Earth Science Department is how interdisciplinary we are and faculty working together across disciplinary boundaries. And this is really the future. We're not just stuck in our little disciplines anymore, but really the questions that we answer as a society cross multiple areas. So in terms of geography, uh, there's a multitude of places where students get jobs. Some of them are in the private sector, doing things like real estate um, or business planning, location services. Also, a lot of GIS development happens in the private sector, but also the public sector is really popular with our students, um, um, like community planning organizations at the state level or even at the federal level. Um, also, a lot of like public park jobs and GIS jobs are in the public sector. I attended a university really similar to UVU for my undergraduate. I went to University of Northern Colorado which was mostly an undergraduate school, and I really benefited from having close contact with my professors. I knew all of my professors. I never really had TAs. And then when I went to graduate school at the University of Kansas, it was so huge, and I easily would have gotten lost in the shuffle. And I think for a lot of undergraduates who are really looking for a little bit of direction and mentoring, a place like UVU is really the best place to be.